It's an incredible figure. Every year, people spend about $8.5 billion on treatments for hair loss. It speaks to how deeply people are impacted by it all. It also speaks to how badly people want there to be a cure. Scientists in California might be on to something. Good morning, Cleveland anchor Terrence Lee now learned in this News 5 original, baldness could soon be cured if you can afford it. Yeah, just look at it. Nick Pisano cuts to the chase. He's thin on top. Tough for him to face at first, but now... I'm all right with it. You know, growing, growing with age is part of the process, and, you know, eventually I'm going to be bald. i got to accept it. And there's certain things you can, you know, certain ways you can cut hair to mask it a little bit. Like Nick, many of Jen Reeves' clients deal with thinning, bald spots, or receding hair lines. Everybody wants a solution, but really the only thing I've been able to offer people is a really temporary thing. You know, we've had, like, powders and gels. But there's hope because scientists at Stem Cell Therapeutics are working on something more permanent. We're hoping that this will be the breakthrough to uh, cure baldness. This dermal papilla cells became quiescent. Simply put, the lab turned stem cells into hair follicles. Then they put the cells into a tiny mold. The mold helps transplant the cells into the skin, telling the hair which direction to grow. And once they're in the skin, the cells actually do what they're designed to do. We're inventing as we go, you know, we're making up the, the path ahead of us as we go. Human testing is years away, but testing on mice has proven successful. And that success has Nick's attention. I'd be curious to see what, what it could do, you know. But again, I'm, I'm okay with going bald as well. But Nick's not okay with the price. The company says the cost will be similar to the cost of hair transplant surgery now, which can run upwards of 10 grand. Terrence Lee, News 5.